Hi, my name is Amy Souza, and I am here at the Port Townsend Food Co-op Apple Festival. And I am here interviewing Bryn Griffin, who is the Community Outreach and Education Coordinator. Uh, Bryn, can you tell me a little bit about what is happening at the Apple Festival today? Well, we have um, a lot of community participation. Uh, right behind you, we have Al Sprit Cafe, and they're making their donuts, their famous donuts. <laughs> and then we have our farmers here from Eastern Washington, the farmers that, we, that grow all of our organic apples. So Bruce from Eco is sampling his apples. He's next to the board members, and they're handing out some cups, free cups of um, spiced cider. I don't know how detailed you want me to get. We have a couple of board members, um, past board members, and community uh, supporters of the co-op that have brought their mechanical apple press. So the kids are over there practicing pressing apples manually. And they're actually uh, offset on the other side with a mechanical press, a motorized apple press. And Bayside Gardens comes every year. And they offer to do they offer their services for free and they uh, press apples that people bring in from their homes. So you can bring in apples from your apple tree in the backyard and rather than letting them all fall on the ground, you can have them pressed. We have uh, Umatilla Flats, a jazz quartet. You can hear them in the background. Yeah. What else? We have a baking contest. So we, ha we have four um, cash prizes for uh, apple desserts and the master gardeners are here and they're handing out uh, free uh, Douglas fir trees, wow. little seedlings. Wow. Um, the Fruit Club is here and they're promoting their event next weekend. We have face painting and the PT Lions Lighthouse Lions group from Port Townsend. They're um, playing a game with the kids that is pin the tail on the lion. And if you if you get the tail close, you get some cookies. <laughs> um, the Food Co-op's doing apple bobbing. And let's see, we're also giving away free apple upside down cake. Wow, and, so. and as, um, as education coordinator, what, what are you hoping people take away from this festival? What do you really want them to get? Well, you know, this is more about having fun. <laughs> I mean, um, they are talking, the farmers are talking about the varietals, so yeah. definitely learning what apples are good for what purposes. He's talking about baking apples and juicing apples. Um, there's a lot of different varietals now because of the bringing back a lot of heritage uh, varietals. So he's doing that kind of education. The board members um, are there to answer questions if people wonder anything about how the co-op works or why it's different. But other than that, it's mostly just for fun. We, we're not really interested in having everything be educational. <laughs> do, do you have a favorite apple? Oh my gosh. Um, you know, Panova right now. Ooh. They're really good. If you haven't tried one, you should. Panova. Panova. Okay. Panova. Panova. <laughs> yeah, they're really good. good. And how long have you been a food co-op member? Well, I have been. I was a member the day I arrived in town. Wow. <laughs> I got here about five years ago and uh, came to the food co-op and joined. And I started working here about four and a half years ago. And I was a food co-op member before that down in Southern California. So co-ops are dear to my heart. Um, I'm, I'm particularly proud of this co-op because of the fact that we have such a small population and such a large percentage of the population yeah, yeah. as owners. Yeah. It's pretty well supported, so I'm grateful. Good. Well, thank you so much, Bryn, for interviewing with us. And again, my name is Amy Souza, and you are here at the Port Townsend Food Co-op Apple Festival. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I love your earrings, by the way. The apple earrings. I love the apple earrings. <laughs> 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 <laughs>